Aloha, gentlemen. I hope all is well. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Summer is upon us, which means it's vacation time. So break out those banana hammocks, pack your bags, because we're going to Mexico. <laughs> It has been an insane year and a half. Crazy, crazy. And I feel like for the first time, people are starting to finally get out, being able to go on vacation, and now is the time. Gentlemen, for the last year and a half, you guys have been out there killing it, killing it. And my motto is work hard, play hard. So today, you're gonna walk with me and get our bags packed. We're gonna do a one bag travel. If you haven't done one bag travel, we're gonna, we're gonna do it, okay? This is the year that we're gonna make some changes and now we're gonna do things a little bit differently. So, I got two bags that I'm gonna walk you through packing the setup that I use when I go on vacation. Maybe give you some inspiration. Let's get into it. Okay, so for the first bag, I have the Cotopaxi Alpa 35 and I have the Cadet Sling Bag. Now, okay, so before you guys blast me in the comment section, that I'm using two bags. Yes, I am. But the point of the single bag travel is to avoid the check-in altogether. Just carrying the minimal things that you need is a whole point and the whole mindset of what we're trying to accomplish here. If you're traveling, you're gonna wear this, and then once you actually get to your destination, this is gonna be your quote unquote day bag, right? Like this is the one you're gonna carry around with you all over the place, which is a Cadet Chrome sling bag. Additionally, this also I use as my document holder when I'm traveling. Uh, when I put the, when I carry it, this goes right in front, backpack goes on, and then, or backpack goes on and then this goes over so that I have all of my important travel documents right in front of me. So it's kind of like an additional layer of security, if you will, because everything's right in front of me and I can grab what I need as I'm going. And I have found the efficiency of this setup is superb. I love traveling like this. I love it. When you can completely avoid a check-in, you, you're kind of, your mind is a little bit more at ease knowing that you have everything that you need is at, is on you. And it's just, it's just a great way to travel. Okay, so let us take a look at the exterior of the bag, which looking around it, there's grab handles on every single side of this bag, which is great, which means no matter which way you put it in, you'll be able to grab it out. Fantastic, really nice straps, has a sternum strap across it, uh, haven't had any issues. Nice breathable padding, nice breathable padding on the back here, and it also has these waistband uh, holders. Now. Uh, I think these waistband holders are just too short. I'm 5'9", I think if you're below maybe 5'7", they'll fit you good, but I didn't like them. So uh, so I just keep them folded in here and it makes for like extra lumbar support, works for me. You have these large zippers, they're on both sides of the bag, right there and right there, and that is for laptop holders. Also, quick access. So if you set this thing up correctly, which I'm gonna show you here in a little bit, uh, you can grab the things that you might need right in here. On the front face of the bag is this like weather mat weatherproof material. Now the bag in and of itself is not waterproof, but this is weather resistant, I guess for splashing. It does come with this cover, which I think is kind of silly. I don't wear it. I know some people do, I don't. And um, it also has these like small hoops, small loops on the outside, which you can connect stuff and then this large uh, top end uh, pouch, right? So here I keep my Sony's, uh, another pair of headphones, and my JBL uh, speaker. A lot, of, lot of space for, you know, your things that you wanna grab really, really quickly. And then it also has this mesh pocket right up here with this extra organization. It just has, it has, a lot of simple things, like they did a good job of just thinking and making the things that you need simple. Yeah, just simple. Okay, so this bag opens clamshell like so. And the thing I really like about this bag is that I opened it and nothing fell out, right? 
There's zippers on both sides, which this, this side is a full uh, zippered compartment. Then you have a two thirds compartment area over here and then two smaller pouches right up top. Now, I don't keep this thing stuffed, packed to the brim because I might want to bring things back with me. You know what I'm saying? Like I might have those margarita beads for whatever reason that I'm bringing back with me. And I got a, I got a spot for them right here. If we open up the main zipper area, this is what I like to carry. I got my flops. I got two packing cubes, very simple. Shoes and my large Nalgene water bottle. I like to carry a water bottle with me just because I got kids. I keep an extra large one in here so that way I can keep them hydrated and myself. It's just really, really nice to have. Okay, and on this side, I carry, on this side I got some extra clothes packed, a large, extra large travel towel. A uh, nice button down, you know, for me and the missus. The electronics organizer kit. And my toiletry bag. All of this fits nice and snug right in here. Perfect. Perfect. I love it. Very, very simple. This is a great, this is the uh, Alpine 35. So I think 35 is just the right size for like your 48 hour weekender. Um, if you want to get into more than that, this next bag is what I think is going to be good for you. Okay, so much like the Cotopaxi, this has grab handles on every single side. Also, padded grab handles, which just makes the interaction so much more pleasant, in my opinion. Uh, this is a really nice water resistant. I would say, I wouldn't say waterproof. You, you can't submerge this guy but it's water resistant. This thing is built really, really well. Osprey, if you are, if you know anything about bags, you understand that Osprey is your top tier of like your outdoor sports bags, right? Like they make some high quality stuff. And uh, this bag is no exception. Really, really nice shoulder straps. Uh, this one has a whistle on it for whatever reason it has a whistle on it. These backpack straps uh, can unclip just like so, and then they can get tucked in right here. And just like that, you have a full on duffel bag. It also has a strap that I don't use. Okay, so this bag opens up a little bit more like a traditional uh, duffel bag. It has the top compartment here, right here, that opens up to the main pouch. Now then, um, the, the pros to this is that I think with this size bag, you can you can almost travel indefinitely. Like, I mean, you can pack this thing to the brim and have everything that you need for, I don't know, forever. So inside the bag, you have these compression straps. Uh, I don't ever use them, but they're there. And then there's an additional pocket right inside here. Um, so this one doesn't have, I don't think, as the same level of organization that the Kodopaxi does. But, like, I, I found that I'm not coming in and out of this one as much. And the pocket that it does have externally, which is on the top, I do use. And I think that this one is, is just a smart move because it's on top. So when you're carrying, your, you're carrying the backpack like this, you can still access stuff right in here. But, like I said, if you're using the Cadet Sling with this, which is what I do use, uh, all of the things that you need to access are gonna be on you with this pack. And then this one is what you carry on you. Now, I would say the downside to this bag is, is, uh, is this flap right here. This flap is what you carry on your back. And this thing does not breathe well at all. If Osprey makes a version 2.0 of this one, I'd hope that they upgrade this flap to make it just a little bit more user friendly or I don't know, maybe put it on the back here, something. That would be my only gripe about this is that um, this thing just doesn't let your back breathe. So you sweat from your back a lot. Anyways, there you guys have it. Two different bags, two different setups to 
conquer your one bag travel vacation. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, get off of YouTube, go pack your bags, get your, get your vacation planned. Get, even if it's just a weekend getaway, get out there with your family, you and your friends, go have some fun and be safe. Until next time, I will see you very, very soon.